Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a comparison between these two Bissell Pet Stain Erasers. So on the right, I got the one with the power brush. So it's got a powered brush right here that I can turn on and off with a switch. Over here, it does not have a powered brush, but I got a nice brush that I do the scrubbing with. Now, what I really love about both these machines are they're, they're cordless and they had this, the thing that sprays the solution is not like a hand pump, it's an actual electric pump and you get a lot of solution out of there and you got a switch for it. So I'm going to show you that. Here I've got some stains. I got some Hershey syrup, grape jelly, and some milk in the middle. We're going to see how each one of them does. Okay, so first we'll do the pet stain eraser. Now this is really lightweight and it's easy for me to scrub with it using this scrub brush that's built in. So we're going to turn it on. It's very quiet also. Let's spray the solution, get them nice and soaking. It really puts a lot of solution out. I really like that feature that there's a lot of solution that comes out. Okay, so they've been soaking. Now let's start scrubbing. Now I can really scrub with this. And it's doing a good job getting the stain out. Okay, so let's add a little bit more solution. Okay, let's get on there and scrub. This is so lightweight that I can really get on there and scrub. Add a little bit more solution. And it's doing a good job getting the stain out. Now let's go real slow and try to get as much of the liquid out as we can. Okay. I'm going to turn that one off. Okay, now let's do this one. So with this one, again, I'm going to turn the power brush on at first. I may turn it off. There is a separate switch for the power brush. I like that feature that I can turn it on and off. So turn it on. Let's spray our solution. Again, it comes out really good. Kind of get it all nice and soaking. Now with this machine, I find it's a little heavier than this one but I can let the machine do most of the cleaning by just kind of letting the scrub brush go over it. Whereas with this one, I like that it's lighter weight where I'm doing the scrubbing. So let's turn it back on. A little more solution. Now let's go over it. Okay, with this one, you'll notice it's a little sudsy. That's why I'll turn this off because I think that's kind of creating suds in the carpet. So now I'm gonna go over it. I'm just gonna use the suction. So turn it on. I'm gonna turn that off. And now I'm just gonna go over it to kind of get all of it out. I'll turn the brush back on, kind of let the brush do the work. Now it spins pretty quick. Okay, so both of them did a really good job again. This one's a little heavier, but the machine can do the work. This one is super lightweight and I end up doing the work with it. Okay, so let's go empty them. Again, you're gonna press this little button down here. This whole chamber comes out and you're gonna take this to the sink and empty this out. Now over here on this one, you're gonna press these two tabs right here. And then this whole assembly comes out. I kind of like that feature. And then we're gonna open this up and empty all that out. Okay, so here over at the sink, this one's a little easier to open up and kind of empty it out. You can rinse it out real easy. There's like a little valve here to push down. So this one's a little easier to rinse out. 
let's go over this one. This one's also easy. You're going to pull this out, and then all of the stuff's going to come out. And you can kind of put water down this hole, clean this. We can take this brush out. It pops out. So we can, can really get this really, really clean. And then pop this little cover off. That's where the suction was. We can clean all of this really, really good. Run a bunch of water through there and get it nice and clean. Okay, so the one with the powered brush, it also comes apart. You can take the water tank off. You can lift this up. We can clean this area here. And the, and the brush also comes out. It's, it's made very well. Take this little cover off. There's a little arm here. So I like that we can take this all apart and clean this really well. So the one with the roller brush, it does talk about setting it like this when you take this tank on and off. And again, make sure that this is fully seated and you're gonna put it in and kind of rotate it like this until it snaps. Now over here with this one, this one's just a much simpler design. I got it all back together. Make sure that's pushed back in and you're simply gonna just snap it all together. Very lightweight, very simple. There's my solution tank. So for me, it's gonna come down to preference. If you want the machine to do the work with the roller brush, you're gonna get the one with the roller brush. I prefer the super lightweightness. This is so portable, so lightweight. I can do the scrubbing with that brush by using the machine itself. I thought both of them did a great job as far as suction. I love that they both put down a lot of solution and it's powered. So again, I really hope this comparison video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.